Hi, this is Jonathan Rotz, Field Agronomist with Pioneer. Today I want to talk with you about a very common question this time of year. What's the best time to plant? Now, there's a couple of different ways to go about this question. Dang nabbit. Billy's hooking up his planter. Time to roll, boys. Yes, it's raining here. But have you looked at the calendar? It's time to go. There's even some, let's say, not so conventional ways. Good to go. But when it really comes down to it, what do we need to be paying attention to when it comes to planting? I look at three different things. First off, soil moisture, and obviously, is it plantable? Secondly, pay close attention to soil temperatures. We want to be in that 50 degrees plus for corn. Uh, you can be slightly below that for soybeans, but know that they're going to take a long time to come out. Thirdly, I want to look at a long range forecast. I want to see that that forecast shows that I have rising temperatures and not declining, especially when compared to the nightly lows and my soil temperatures. Remember, soil temperature is most largely influenced by the overnight low, not necessarily the daily high. If your soil temperatures are warm and you see a regression in temperature overnight coming, that may be a good reason to hold off. Lastly, when it comes to planting date, I always like to remind folks, it's not necessarily about when we can start, but how soon are we going to finish. If you have lots of acres to get across, obviously we're gonna have to push limits early to make sure that we get everything wrapped up in good time. But if we have limited acres, let's really focus on ideal temperatures and ideal times, ideal conditions in general, rather than just getting out there super early and making sure that we get that crop in. Corn especially doesn't necessarily have a yield advantage by being planted early. Rather, we have to remember that the yield disadvantage comes as we plant later into May. Soybeans, on the other hand, do tend to have a yield advantage as they get planted early. This would push us to have earlier planting dates, but also remember that at this point in time, emergence will be slow, and if you have any other pests, diseases, pests, uh, things along those lines, it'll be hard to overcome for some of those soybeans. Keep those populations up as you go for the earliest planting soybeans to make sure that you have enough stand to get you through the year. I hope you find this information helpful. As always, there's other videos out here about soil moisture and preparedness and what we have to watch for, as well as soil temperatures and things on that nature. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to myself, your local Pioneer sales agency, or anyone else in the Pioneer organization. Have a happy and safe planting season. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.